He's overtaking the Italian way, <laughs> so I guess I will have to follow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in Pula, and I'm about to leave to Italy, to Udine. We're going to be passing by Trieste, which is a historical city. We have a journey of three hours and a half. But as you can see, it's an amazing day. <laughs> At least a sunny day, a real sunny day. Yeah, I'm so excited. So I'll see you on the way. Bye. Look at the sun, look at the harbor. How the sun is reflecting on the water. Ah, oh, this is paradise. The blue skies. Wow. The seaside is healing my soul. Definitely. So we say bye to Pula. We say bye to the amphitheater. We say bye to the Temple of Augustus. It was an incredible city. It was very beautiful. People were kind, humble, understanding. It was a lovely city. I'm gonna have a proper coffee. This is the real deal, folks. <laughs> Right, here we are. Just 150 miles to go. It's the same that I was saying before. However, the route's gonna be much faster. We are on our way to the A9, which is the highway that goes to Venice. We're not gonna go to Venice, we're gonna step out in the Udine. It's gonna be our night stay. We have 100 k's to Trieste. We're gonna get there in less than a blink of an eye. I've realized that sometimes you're doing things in life and then unexpected things come. For example, today I was going to Udine on back roads. I didn't know that I would cross a mountain. I didn't know it would be full of snow. I, would, I didn't know it would be full of cars. And then I just stopped for a coffee. And then I met this guy, this very nice guy, Ergen. And he gave me some information about the trip that I was going to do, about the journey. And, you know, I got some new information that I didn't know. And that changed my itinerary. Sometimes you start your day thinking, well, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then in the middle of the day, things change. And you have to be open for that. Nothing in life is unchangeable. You got to be open to change. Because otherwise you'll be frustrated every day because of fact that something didn't went the way you wanted. When I was a kid I wanted to be an archaeologist and I ended up studying French philology. Ciao. Grazie, buona giornata. And Slovenia welcomes us with Atoll. As always, I remind you that if you want to follow my track, you can do so on Polar Steps. The link is in the description. Hello. Thank you. Bye bye. It's been easy peasy and we are in Slovenia. We get out of the highway and we continue on back roads. This is what we came here for, right? snacks right uh. <laughs> spark the bike here and stop for a coffee it's the guy on the beamer I was talking to him and he's going to Trieste as well so I said to him maybe we can go together so yeah 70,000 <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, okay, but I 
I don't know his name, I don't know anything, I just know that he has a BMW R200 GS. He's overtaking the Italian way, <laughs> so I guess I will have to follow. would have told me half an hour ago that I would meet this guy and we would go together to Trieste. Welcome Italy! Italia! We are entering Trieste. So the thing about Trieste is that during the Austro-Hungarian Empire, it was one of the five major cities of the empire. And by 1930, it was a free city, which was in dispute by the Western and Eastern powers. Even today, Trieste has a special vibe. It's an important import and export city. Let's stop in this gas station. Buongiorno. All right, let's go. We have 40 minutes left. It's getting a little bit dark. And it's getting a little bit cloudy. Okay, just a ticket. Alright, here we are, taking the exit to Udine. We're finally here, but not before paying the toll. Ciao. Introdurre il biglietto. Ritirare la tessera. Arrivederci. Grazie, arrivederci. So in total, 7 euros to take the highway could have been worse. You can definitely feel it's a little bit chilly. Udine is the feet of the mountain. We just arrived here. Let's check in. And then just rest. I have just arrived at the hotel. Tonight there's only me, so you know, more privacy. So apparently the hotel is also a restaurant and they're organizing a special dinner tonight and they invited me. That's gonna be lovely. So without further ado, as always, thank you so much for coming along with me and see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.